duniya gaba ya za ta tattara hankalinta akan sojojin aljan amma can nan suna bukata ta ba zan iya barin su ba to amma idan kin mutu wani amfani zaki musu ayyamu ne ayyamu ne ne cikin mu zaka dinga zuwa zangona ba kana fasun mutane kana abin da kake da ma zangona ne Hello and welcome to another edition with the Consulty. If you're just meeting me for the first time, my name is Chacha Wabara. And if you've not subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button. Do turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when a new video comes up. Sorry about my appearance. I've not been feeling too good. And then again, I have bad hair day and bad makeup day. But do bear with me because... I haven't um, uploaded videos in a while and I just thought to jump ahead and um, you know do these reviews they've been piling up right yeah so let's just get right into it today we'll be reviewing the movie a Nigerian movie titled voiceless it's a 2020 Nigerian movie it was released in November 2020 directed by Robert Peters written by Jennifer Agunloye yeah it is actually based on true life experience based on eyewitness experience it also centers around this uh, the kidnapping of the 245 cheap up girls you know we all know that and of course we know that um, you know this Boko Haram thing is something that I don't know it's synonymous with Nigeria now like if you're talking about Nigeria and insecurity of course you're going to have to mention Boko Haram so now that like, we set the premise upon which this movie is based this movie is one that I just saw today I earlier posted the trailer voiceless trailer yeah I'm here to do the review I saw this movie on Netflix and it's such an amazing movie like I'm so shocked like I'm shocked that it's actually Nigerians that you know pull this off. Come on, it's really amazing. You know, at the end of the movie, I as much as I loved the brilliance of the movie, knowing that the movie has been nominated for lots of awards, it actually you know left me feeling so sad, so sad. Like you know, you're you're you're, you're face up with what a lot of Nigerians, most you know, mostly people in the northeast like Meduguri, Yobe. Adamawa have gone through in the hands of this terrorist um, group so it's not something that you would want even your worst enemy to experience and here we are we're watching it as a movie it's not, it, it, it left me feeling so sad and emotional at some point I cried I cried because looking at the end of the movie it kind of like hit me like see listen a lot of people have lost their lives here in this country yes lost their lives you know to senseless killing senseless kidnapping that have resulted to death and stigmatization you know like you know, from those who have been kidnapped or forced into being around this so-called um, terrorist group that's the Boko Haram group and then at the end of the day they are saved they are rescued and uh, the way people look at them the society is somewhat not even somewhat actively reluctant you know to accept them back into you know into normalcy you know normal living so that's what you're going to see in this movie now this movie is staring amazing actors and actresses like Uzi Usman who played the role of Banza Yakubu Mohammed who played Lafia the commandant and um, Asabe Madaki Asabe Madaki actually played a wonderful role she was the lead actress uh, playing the role of Salma and then we have also Adam Galba who played Goni okay and then the love interest of the love interest of Salma we also have Abba Ali Zaku Bolus. Yeah. Now, this movie has an estimated uh, budget of uh, $2 million. That's how wonderful this movie is. That's how successful this movie is. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay, so now moving forward, this movie talks about, you know, you will see a normal family in the north 
you know uh, for those of us who have been those of you who have been to the north um, in land villages you will know how they live it's kind of like a communal kind of living and very honest to god humble unassuming people who suddenly have their lives torn apart by, by this boko haram terrorist group now um in this movie they are called the um i forgot what they call them but anyway moving forward two brothers that was how the movie started anyway we're going out to work apparently the younger brother needed to complete his money for school fees yeah work with metals and all that you know making all kinds of metal products yeah and um, we see how the terrorist group goes from one village to the other terrorizing people killing people you know taking drugs from pharmacies and all of that now moving forward we see where this uh, this terrorist group now you know they go get into this place where these two brothers work this place yeah so as these boys were all running his younger brother got shot and he was devastated of course they kidnapped them they took them forcefully because they wanted their skills their skills to make guns to make weapons and all of that yeah so they got to the camp and his life changed of course he knew that there was no running away for him and anyone who runs away is giving instant punishment which is you know they bury you down and just your head and you know these militants they they, they 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 keep stoning you and that's is your death so that gruesome you know you'll be staring at death in the face so who would want to escape who would want to who, who would even have that courage to escape now we see this group of girls you know they're going to school on the other hand that's salma and her friends are going to school salma is you know an amazing young girl who has dreams of you know seeing the world seeing the western world she's brilliant you know she's she, teachers love her her parents are so proud of her and she's the only child of her parents and um, on the day she was supposed to deliver a speech to maybe join uh, a parents teachers association stroke students meeting these militants these terrorists they come and kidnap the school girls so you would see where in which chibok thing you know is linked right these 245 girls who were kidnapped by the Boko Haram you see where how we just you know they kind of like mirrored that kidnap and you will see how gruesome how violent it was it was you know the effects were amazing you 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 would wonder like really is this a Nigerian movie I'm still beside myself in shock Robert Peters did a wonderful job the script writer she was amazing because picking up every you know the agony of each parent like the father who kept on holding on to his daughter when they were like you know loading up lo loading them up into the into the van to take them away and he kept, kept on holding on to his daughter and then um banza you know cuts off his his hand you know the wrist it was home it was blood chilling so that's how amazing you know this movie is and then you see um when they take them back to the camp and everything that transpired you see sexual violence portrayed you will see what these girls go through what you know kidnapped female victims go through in the hands of these terrorist groups these you know terror groups and all of that they don't just take you there and um, keep you there like when ransom is paid and then you're you know you're good to go you they, they go through a lot of psychological damage they are raped they are dehumanized you know it's a race for freedom and the freedom do they even get that freedom even if they are released like you know in the world it's true sense of the you know this, it's really raining heavily here so the noise i'm so sorry about the noise but i have to complete this video yes so now it's like this okay in less than two hours this movie absolutely and you know perfectly captured what these girls go through in the hand of these terrorists now moving forward you will see goni having feelings for salma okay he fell in love with salma and salma was you know in the camp she was such a courageous young girl and was also was after the plight of her fellow schoolmates who were kidnapped alongside her so you will see her trying to you know work out something that will make them escape however difficult and almost impossible that was inside this camp you would also see power tussle between Banza and the commandant right and um, subsequently it led to a coup right so you know moving forward i i don't want to be much of a spoiler right yeah so moving forward um what i was really interested in was the aftermath of the rescue not really much of a rescue you would see the almost hopeless 
you know, a situation of these girls, like, their safety was in their own hands, more or less. Anybody that wanted to be safe, you would think about your safety yourself. The army was not, didn't come to play much here. So you will see that, you know, it was reality at its peak. The account as given, you know, to narrate, you know, to portray this movie was from a realist, you know, point of view. What actually happened? You would see that there was no help from the, from the army at all. They were just um, at the mercy of these terrorists, right? Now, getting, you know, being rescued, Salma along the line had a child for this guy, Goni. Goni, you know, uh, was captured, was kidnapped by these terrorists. And boys, men who were kidnapped by terrorists, even when they come into the society, when they are rescued or they find a way to escape, they are just more or less regarded as, you know, part of this terrorist group, the community of people bent all the frustration, bent all the anger, everything on these innocent people who are looking for people to, you know, rescue them, to help them, to rehabilitate them into the society, which was what Gomni and Bolus play. You will see the, the touching, the, the barbaric, you know, killing of Bolus, who from point in time was just after the safety of Goni and Salma as well as the other girls and for him to be brutally murdered it, it, it stretched our emotions as well as Goni. Goni couldn't just you know begin to wrap his head around that they were running away from the terrorists only for them to back into the society only for them to see that the society did not want to have them at all. The society just you know regarded them as an extension of the terrorists. So what what was their plight? You know, a feeling of hopelessness. It was a feeling of me against the world. It was a feeling of no one wants me anymore because you know we've been tinted by you know the you know that has to do with terrorists. So it wasn't um, a win-win situation. It wasn't anything. It was just a, uh, a state of hopelessness. Now moving forward, you will see how Goni tried to uh, stop the suicide bomber all to no avail. So. The movie ended in a very real way, but you know, I don't think most uh, people would have loved it to end, wanted it to end that way. But you know, it captured everything the way it ought to be captured. I'm telling you, it is only Nigerians, those you know, that can really act out this movie the way it was acted out. You, you would have to uh, uh, listen to a Nigerian recounting this story, recounting this experience, recounting this, the feelings, the emotions, everything that transpired to be able to understand just what the situation is right now. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. I hope you can hear me. And uh, I'm sorry about the noise, the, the rain, and um, sorry, agonies of a YouTuber, a small time YouTuber, right? So okay, movie was for me was part excellence. It was wonderful. It was excellent. It portrayed everything the way I wanted it to be portrayed. I it left no room for me to say, okay, this should have been done better. That should have been done better. It was too real. It was too good. The only thing that I had, you know, that I was like, oh no 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 no, that would be was the boy that acted. You know, the little boy that went to meet Salma's dad that um, he was looking for his sister and his sister had been missing for oh, two days. He had not seen her. This is a picture. The boy was almost laughing, you know, because at that time the camera was just aged on him. So he, you know, he was feeling too self-conscious and was almost smiling. So that part did not do it for me. But in every other angle, every other role was portrayed. Bulus, you know, really brought out the best, you know, brought out that emotion, that thing. Especially, you know, the effects around them killing bolos, you know, the jungle justice per se, putting tire, you know, after, you know, macheting him, stoning him, uh, they still had to set him on fire and all of that. You know, to, what, to the end of the movie, I didn't even know how the movie was going to end. I was even, uh, you know, it was suspenseful. It was a thriller that was a thriller in the true sense of the word. I'm going to be rating this movie a 10 over 10. For the first time since I've been reviewing videos right here on, I, I am going to be rating this movie a 10 over 10. I've never rated a movie a 10 over 10. Okay, I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I'm super impressed. I've never seen this before. Yeah, we're in Nigeria. Yes, we've seen it happen. Yes, some of us have experiences, but you know, bringing it to visual, how to put it, you know, filming, it's somewhat different and it takes very good actors and actresses 
to bring this to life i'm telling you you need to see this movie you can you, you can see this movie on netflix for those of you who are asking me the whole of last year how you see this movie where you see this movie those outside nigeria those within nigeria there you have it you can see it on netflix thank you so much for joining me i hope um i see you next time until then please look up you'll see my um nigerian movie reviews my korean movie reviews my chinese movie reviews and my reaction videos i'm going to be doing more of reaction videos in the future soon yeah so thank you so much for joining me till i see you next time it's bye for me and don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment tell me what you think about voiceless i'll see you next time bye